Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. We're back with Danganronpa 2 part 33. This is continuing the investigation for chapter 6. Investigation um, part 2. Let's talk to Fuyuhiko. Hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Junko in Oshima is really dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There's a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait. What was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in. They were killings that happened at Host Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Enoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Enoshima is dead. Like... It turns out that the killing school life was part of the biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy. And she took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit for being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? So... The students of Hope's Peak Academy are widely known as Symbols of Hope. By forcing people to watch these Symbols of Hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. Huh. But that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Oshima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap. After being overcome by the despair she created, huh. she took her own life. Then Junko is no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard! Junko Enoshima isn't alive anymore! Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Enoshima is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that killing school life. <laughs> Well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but <laughs> an imitation is just that, an imitation. No shit. If the students from Host Peak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this is really an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The camera's all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting us somewhere? Just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Jimmy, you totally know about that story, huh? What? Do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, how exciting. One step at a time. You're getting closer to clearing my character out. You're not making sense again. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah! I'll raise them flags like crazy. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I just like to think of Hajime as like, bye. I'm, all We're right. on the fourth floor now. Huh? It, it changed to a different hallway again? It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Ugh. Shall we talk to Akane? Yes. Akane's switching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my gut feeling. Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. 
Huh? What do you mean? Who? So... I don't know. It's just my gut, after all. It's just my gut! But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her gut must be correct again this time. Hmm. These spots in front of the camera are really getting to me. <laughs> All right. So if you, Hiko, was able to go into the bloody classroom and we were not. Yeah. This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Oh, you feel like it? Looks like it's some sort of monument? Why would there be a monument in the music room? And not just that. The mark engraved into the monument is the symbol of the Future Foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short passage engraved. There to com go. sorry. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope Speak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy? Aren't they known as Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up. Boom. What is this? Words are floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? The flowing letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Inoshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the exper experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? 15 students? Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who is part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Fusion Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Holmes Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko Inoshima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email, too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only Future Foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that that's the research facility. If there's really a research facility on this island, there should be another future... There should be other Future Foundation members here. Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. Hmm. What? <laughs> what is that? Was what? There's a floating block in the air. Well, the big ones. Yeah, it's kind of like... The environment is... Disintegrating a little bit. Yeah. Did 
trying to figure out where to go in next. Or is that it? Do we... No. It's blocked still. Okay, we can't go in the uh, bathrooms. Oh, the, uh, oh, the teacher's office. lounge. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, I didn't see it. Office. It's a lot of plants. This feels different from a classroom. Maybe. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Well... More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already. Yeah, seriously. Ah. Noise. Toy. Huh? Are you serious? There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko and Oshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Oshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess it's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Hmm. You have so many truth bullets. Hmm? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? List of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just below that are names I've seen before. Why is Yoko signal? Yeah. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Kyoko Seanji is written there. What is this newspaper? She looks so different. She has one ponytail. She looks so nice. And grown up. What is this? It says Miss Hiyoko Sayanji. This can't mean the same Hiyoko, right? I mean, the Hiyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But the photo in this newspaper, in a way I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure, it's too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? I thought Hyoko looked a lot like Junko. Hmm, this lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Seanji here. Uh. Oh, then. Hiyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name? <laughs> I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hiyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Man. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong. She doesn't have an older sister. Hiyoko is the Sayanji family's only daughter. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hiyoko. Huh? Of course not! What are you saying? Hiyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for a childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What are you saying? A growth reduction? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. 
<laughs> Today, I'm feeling white. Well, regardless, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then the Hyoko in this newspaper... Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? What? Why does this even exist? Hey, hey! Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Hyoko's body? <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. Hold on, I'm gonna look at this for a second. So they're grouped into groups of three, obviously. Ultimate Imposter is on there. Yeah, and, as uh, Ultimate Imposter. There's, there's 15 names, and including Bi Chiaki. And Biaki is not listed, and says just Ultimate Imposter. So, so there's there's 15 students plus Chiaki, who's basically who's from the Future Foundation. Right. And then Hyoko, for some reason, is separate. I would assume that they would um, expect Hyoko to be one of the despair people, a remnant. Hmm. I don't know. And then there's this. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the placard says, Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Which they showed in the fun house. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we heard that name before. The founder of Hoax Peak Academy, and this name, Izuru Kamakura. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. <laughs> okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hajime! You shall now go on to the next stage! Why is it only Hajime? Next stage? This is weird, right? Well, let's move on. Third floor. Damn it, not again! The hallway's different from the last time. I guess when that flag Monokuma mentioned is raised, I moved to a different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? No, that's not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to waste my energy. So, is everyone, like, are they all moving on at different, at different rates? <gasps> she just laid an egg. Oh, and then she's leaving. Oh, <gasps> wants to give you something. Oh. Oh, it was crying as it bowed to leave. Bye-bye. Bye, snake and me. Clean up your poopies. And now we have an egg with a bow? Yeah, it's going to take 3,000 steps to hatch, so safely to say we're not going to hatch it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, come on. The physics lab's not... Ugh. But that was such a cool... Whoa. It's weird. I love all the glitchiness. Yeah. Why is it happening though? What are all the windows? I know. The rec room. So what I was asking before is like everyone uh, like moving along the levels at different paces or are they moving with Hajime and he's like their leader now? There's a billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside the school. Why is it floating? It's a file with Hope's Peak Academy sealed on it. Everything's so crazy! Look, it's that game! 
Yeah, Othello. Othello. It says confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Right. Why would an important document be here? Why would I even why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously Monokuma is responsible. Duh. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the sorry. About the hope cultivation plan. Sorry. For many years, Hope Speak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. Followed was a series of detailed instructions in intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope Speak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? This hologram again. What's this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the reports we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. So there were five groups of three, and Hyoka was the 16th name, right? Okay. okay. It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? Is if the Future Foundation was protecting us, why would we be forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. What's this? My, my, Hajime. If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What is this hologram thing anyway? Hey. It's um... exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many talents. Mm, no, no. Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. Yeah. His true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. The Second neon floor. sign. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. Akane? What were you gonna say? Uh, the neon sign on the wall in the rec room said, Hopeful Peak. Oh. I thought that was funny. It's so nice. lame. It's very close. Someone is coming. Akane is twitching her nose and examining her surroundings. Based on my gut feeling. They're definitely real close. At least that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? <laughs> they answer this with your gut! <laughs> hmm. Let's see. My gut is feeling... My gut feeling is... Yeah. They're both! Sorry. Yo! He's right! They're both! Both? 
What do you mean? You. I don't know any details. It's just my gut, after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Why is everyone so blurry? I'm not gonna lie. I hope someday to be able to go into an upside down room because I think that would be really. Oh, cool. I know. Me too. I want to as well. Like where I have to walk on walk on the ceiling. ceiling. Yeah. That'd be cool. And the doors, like you have to like pull yourself into them. What is it? Just oh hi. It's our pet. Yeah, it's gonna hatched. die anyway. What? Sorry, it's weird. No. -uh. no, I'm just kidding. No, you're not. We're all gonna die. In the library. This is where they will die. In the library. <laughs> it's like playing Clue. I just. It's Biakia just... with the pipe. What in I mean the library. is, it'll never grow up. Because we won't take enough steps. Yeah. But it hatched. Sure did. Hatched into a world full of despair. <laughs> this must be a library. <laughs> Monokuma probably left something here, too. I should hurry up and finish it. Or find it. What? Oh, oh! Yeah, I was like, what you doing? <laughs> this hologram again. It must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt that it's another clue. What is this music? This is not from the original, the first game. It's the investigation music, but this is from the original game. This is? Yeah, we... To Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto Naegi! We, al Idiot. we always get into a conversation when, like, there's a twist on screen. <laughs> and I'm always just like, but. <laughs> You're like, pay attention! I'm like, no, we have to talk about this stupid thing. Okay. Have you ever noticed? Makoto Naegi! <laughs> Sorry. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return to the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the, trage the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? What? So that was to Makoto, by the way. Okay. This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto Naegi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? He doesn't strike me as clever enough to be able to do that. Uh, would it be okay? <laughs> Are you guys gonna be okay if I protect the remnants of despair? Uh, but Kyoko is God is Kyoko. Be mad at me. Uh, May I kiss your feet? Uh, can we not go into the other room? Oh, no, okay. it's shut off. Yeah, it's, this is basically like a chiptune version of the investigation music in this game. I hear it, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Didn't I walk into a classroom? Ah, it's a laundry room! I, I don't really get it, but this looks like the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was in the school and now I'm suddenly in the laundry room. Yeah, wasn't this on the first floor? Final one. Yeah. You got an achievement. No. I should start a circus. Why is it? That's so weird. Let's look at the manga and the tablet. Well, we can't. That That is a magazine with Junko's face on it. The only thing we can look at is the tablet here, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry. Okay. It wasn't letting you click on it? No, it wasn't. You could see it. It wasn't highlighting. Yeah, that was weird. This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power is on, too. Is this the next clue? Is it the AI? I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Neo World Program? 
this word. Neo World. It, I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. I feel like there's a lot of Matrix references with like Neo and the designs. Oh. The Neo World program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The new the Neo World program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer, Aww. the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. By mounting a device to the cranium, oh, okay. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. I know it! Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is... despair. Ah! I scream loudly, as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I'm starting to accept that... this, this... There's no way something as crazy as this actually exists. Nice! You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character route. <laughs> now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me too? So it's like he's been alone this whole time. <laughs> Is that what it said? Hiya! How are you doing? Do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? <laughs> Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. <laughs> you guys, you guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. <laughs> Very good. I was like, gays? Oh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but... It's like it's breaking down. Yeah. It's kind of... It's really tough to see here. Do we go into the... No? Oh my gosh. I can't walk around once like this. Ah. Oh gosh. That makes me want to puke. I know. Oh, look. Oh, hi, Sonia. Well, are you familiar with the placebo effect and the nocebo effect? Huh? <laughs> the placebo effect is when your health improves after taking a fake medicine that you believe is real. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite. Which means, as long as the human brain controls all other bodily functions... If the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why would you bring that up all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Oh my. Huh? Um, I'm not sure. I 
do not fully understand. What the heck? He's been alone. He is one student alone. There's a Monokuma! Uh. <laughs> the moment you discover that the truth was a lie, all hope will disappear. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to go into this classroom. It's the only thing we can go into. Is it the bloody classroom? No, that's on the fifth floor. <gasps> what is that, the monolith? What's it called from 2001 Space Odyssey? The monolith. Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? The moment I looked at that object... Oh no. It's Chihiro! Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World Program. A person? A flowing person is talking to me. I was hoping that Chihiro would come back. Who is it? No, is this even a person in the first place? Um, I am not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. <laughs> That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It can talk. But what are you? Alter Ego, artificial intelligence program. I am the master program behind the Neo World program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence, is, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm trying to remember the voice for it. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Hold on. My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it. It's that feeling from earlier again. This floating, floating. Like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet or the ground. Like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has amended the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be, mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, this school you're in. It appears, this space is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply... the overseer of the New World Program. Most of its words... I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as the truth. It would make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel... I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths. They're all just fiction. Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. 
Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World program used for in the first place? Why does he say it twice? The Neo World program serves only one purpose. It used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you can say, it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here, and the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step towards replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the New World Program. With the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you, you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing memories of any time period you set it to? So Monokuma was right, we did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me too. Booting the program on the survivors of Hope Speak Academy while it's still in its experimental stage. I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? That's the only thing I can think of. It sounds like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? Um, I'm sorry. I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and that virus? Well... For this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people, along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah. They were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the Observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the Observer in the student role was not. Mm. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there is no risk of abuse. But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World Program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is this? Is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole the portion of my abilities which contained my authority to build the world. It was like a Grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. So that was like Monami fighting the Mono Beasts. Sorry. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her. Which means this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this Alter Ego? If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it! What the heck? An artificial intelligence? Waging an attack against another one? That's so freaking irritating! But how'd that virus infect the Neo World program? That's so freaking annoying! Yeah. How annoying! <laughs> the Neo World program exists in isolation. It's impossible it, it was infected through a network. 
I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation's facility? But the only person who could enter that facility is someone who is a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? So, I don't really like this exposition dump, but it's important. What we just did? Yeah. Oh. No, it's, it's not over. Gotcha. We're not done yet. Ah, but... It's true that the virus is powerful, and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So, it has a limit, too. A limit? If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, such as... In order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey! Come on now! Okay! Even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hints from you! If you're gonna say something more... Suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to... The defluxation based on the definition of existence that constitutes relationship. From there, the paradigm! Change results by being cut off rapidly and causing a situation where your own existence is unobservable and accelerates and crosses with the joint ownership of the world and the situation with the context <laughs> invited your death, 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 death. Hey. It's breaking. Alter ego. No. What the heck? What just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Is this Makoto? Maybe he can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys were forced to do. We were forced to watch it. Forced? To watch us? I really want to save you right away, but because of the virus's interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right there. I hope. Looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just, who is this guy anyway? Is he our ally? Since there's no time, I'm gonna say what I need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it was too late. But it's not just the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us. What did he want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? You know, 11037. 11037. That's the number we found at Nazumi Castle. 
The door to the ancient ruin was supposed to open after you all finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the Observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 11037 password in place in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. It's Makoto! Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will save you, that, that will to you all. I'm entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse, abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario, where an observer who has the role of teacher goes rogue, I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the forced shutdown sequence. Forced shutdown sequence? Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Which means, even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the forced shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. Kimo Yashi Baba? Hmm? Say what? What was that just now? Hmm? Hey, Hajime! What was that weirdness just now? N nothing, really. Hmm. I see. Anyway. Oh well, anyway, that's all the hints you're gonna get! If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna butt in again! Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but... It was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon. A very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we have to do our best at? The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings, too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless, too? When the world has flipped over and become so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god! Um, so, uh... I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in?
It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> See you soon. Plunge right in. A red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what it all means right now. For now, I need to finish this. I need to just focus on that. Oh my god. Okay, red door. It means this red door, right? Do I have to just go in there? If I do that, will this be finished? This place. Yo, looks like everyone's here. Damn right. It seems that this is gonna be the final place. However, however, this place is. It's, yeah. It's weird, the translation there said trial field. It did. We didn't say that the first time. here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door at the ancient ruins leads to. Hey. Huh, seems pretty strange that we've been in that other building up until now. Damn it. It's like we're dreaming or something. And this is a dream, then this too is very... Welcome! So, you finally arrived! Congratulations! You guys are the first ones to ever beat this game! After stopping by Host Peak Academy, you finally come back to this place. <laughs> to the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. You, you can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different than the trial ground from before. <laughs> from before. I just don't care about voicing the thing. This trial field, actually, this trial ground, actually inspired the one from before. So in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey. Who cares? This graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course. If that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now then. <clears throat> Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seats. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. In other words... Which means everyone who has died up till now will have their votes treated as absences. Then, the result is based on our majority vote. Hmm. If graduate is chosen by a majority vote, from there, an event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <laughs> Even if we do this stupid majority vote, the, re the result is already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move this along. We can press it now, right? No, no, no. You can't do that yet. Hmm. I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? Your will to be swept away by society's harsh current. Shut up, shut up! Who the hell cares? I'm gonna press it. What's this? My, my, which of your orifices are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, you need my final say as your teacher, you know? What, does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? That's right! After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it! So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Well... I wish the guys wouldn't talk so much. The guys just are fucking, they're little chatterboxes. They are. Sonia, pipe up. God. Um, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way! 
But you don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. He's doing it because that's how it has to be. Doesn't mean he can exert his will over everything. He too has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyway. Even if you don't want to solve it, you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterward, you cast your majority votes, and from there we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> but why do we even have to go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is. You said you're waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm? Which means you're just stalling for time then. Huh. Who's the main cast? Wow, a woman speaks. Amazing. They can talk. Hmm. Oh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. That is, there is no way it has nothing to do with us. We are the only ones who are involved, you know. So know. annoying. It doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. You pissed me off. Hold on. What's with that chump comment? I can't ignore that. Not that it's important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. I won't forgive you. How dare you treat him like a toy? What's this? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you guys be? I guess this is just the nature of life. <laughs> Fine then, before you die, sear my power into your memories. So. What? What are you saying what to? What are you saying what to? What you saying what to? Look at the, did you look at the bottom? Uh-uh. Look, it's, even this screen's glitching. Oh my god. 11 year old what? He... Hello world. Hello world. 11 year old's Hello. lunch order. Thank you. That's weird. Huh. Anyway, what are you saying what for? What just happened? Why, why was he like, sear my power into your memory? It, it's just, he's just starting the trial. Yeah. When he says that. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what court prep turn, turns into. Something Doubt. area. Doubt area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Ugh. Good God. I am so pumped for this case. This is it now. No, my voice is like wrecked. I know. No, we need to take a breather before we go God, into that one. Kazuichi and Fuyuhiko. Just yappity yap yap yap. Shut the fuck up. They do like to talk And of course, it. everybody's voice is like either up here or down here. Yeah. I'm tired of it. That's okay. Um, I am so pumped about this. Alter oh, Ego came back! I know. And we got to talk to Makoto? Question mark? I think it was him. Yeah. So what's your current theory about everything before? So I think that uh, Hajime has been wearing like a headset or something, like a VR headset as like the psychotherapy uh, Neo World program. But um, just him. Just him. I'm wondering if everyone else is fake. Or if they've all been wearing it together. And when they die, they simply just take the headset off. They don't actually die. And it's like preparing them for... Um, fighting the remnants of despair or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's my theory. I can't wait to hear what you thought at this point. I can't ask you that yet. It was an elaborate plan. Mine's not terribly elaborate. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the final Danganronpa 2 video. Ah! So, part 33? 34. 34. Yeah. All right, you guys. Think critically. <laughs>